I've got a piece of pondweed. This one's called Kabomba. No, it's not. With the exception of a handful of extreme environments at the bottom of the ocean, every food chain on Earth relies on energy from the sun being captured by plants as they photosynthesize, fixing carbon from the atmosphere and producing glucose and oxygen. This is such a fundamental part of life as a producer that just about every structural element of a plant is geared towards maximizing the rate of photosynthesis. Whether that's packing in up to a million chloroplasts in every cubic centimeter of tissue, making sure roots grow inexorably towards water, or growing to unimaginable heights to capture every last morsel of light on offer. But how exactly does the level of light affect the rate of photosynthesis? Well, wouldn't you know? There's an experiment for that, let's do it. So here's the setup, and it's nice and simple. I've got a piece of pondweed, this one's called Elladir. That's underneath an upturned funnel with a test tube full of water on top of that. I've dissolved some sodium bicarbonate in the water to give it a source of carbon dioxide and set it up next to a lamp. As it photosynthesizes, it gives off bubbles of oxygen, and I can count the bubbles in one minute to give me a measurement of the rate. I can move the beaker away from the lamp, and with the help of a light meter, we can track how the rate of photosynthesis changes at different intensities. Crack it, let's go. So what we should find here is a linear relationship. As light increases, so does photosynthesis. In reality, because of a physical principle called the inverse square law, doubling the distance quarters the available light. So if you're measuring distance rather than light level, you'll find an exponential rather than linear relationship. Mmm, delicious maths. And that's it. Nice simple setup for measuring the rate of photosynthesis in an aquatic plant. For IGCC biology, this spec point also covers testing a leaf for starch, and we've done a short video on that one, which you can watch there. Thanks for sticking with us. Give us a subscribe if you enjoyed watching this old mug ramble on about bio, and we'll see you next time.